ominous rumors had been privately circulating that Team Flare had been at work on what was darkly hinted to be the ultimate weapon, a doomsday device. Sources traced the site of the top secret Flare project to the northwestern town of Geosange. What are their plans in such a remote and desolate place? No one could say. One of the most notorious aspects of the Pokemon universe is its technology. From transport to communication, the Pokemon world shows many signs of advanced technologic development to an almost futuristic level. But the most interesting piece of tech in this world is 3000 years old. During the Great Kalos War, the King A.C. built a giant device to revive his Floet, a victim of the conflict. This had a great price, the lives of thousands of Pokémon. But this wasn't enough for AC. In anger, he used the power of the weapon to bring end to the war, losing Floet's trust in the process. This is what we are going to explore today, in the first episode of Mining for Meaning, the symbolism behind the ultimate weapon's design. We'll see the real-world inspirations behind it and how deep Game Freak went for this aspect of the games. The ultimate weapon is clearly influenced by the Fleur de Lis, the symbol was used in France, country which inspired the people at Game Freak to make the Kalos region as a motif in many emblems related to the royal family. The symbol influenced other things in the franchise, like Lysander, a descendant of AC's younger brother. His name clearly is a reference to the Fleur de Lis. This is noticeable in basically every translation of the game, especially in Japanese and German. Also, the Snivy evolutionary line, according to Ken Sugimori himself, these three Pokémon are based on French monarchy. In the case of Superior, we even see the Fleur de Lis on its chest, and we see the Pokémon as part of the decoration at Parfum Palace. Okay, we already pointed out the regal theme around the Fleur de Lis, but when did this symbol gain that meaning? Well, that's a difficult question to answer. The symbol is common to almost all eras and civilizations across history. It has been found on Egyptian and Assyrian bar reliefs, Mesopotamian cylinders, Sassanid textiles, Mameluk coins, and Buddhist sculptures. So, why don't we stay in Kalos a little longer? The symbol was used by many ancient European cultures, but its association with monarchy could be traced back to Clovis I. There are many things about Clovis that we can link to the Fleur de Lis. We have the story of his conversion to Catholicism. Clovis was the first king of the Franks, a group of Germanic tribes with their own particular mythology. His wife Clotilda, a Burgundian princess, was a Catholic, and she convinced the king of adopting her religion. There is a legend around his baptism known as the Legend of the Holy Ampulla. The Holy Ampulla was a vial of oil used to anoint the king. According to the legends, a dove or angel came down from the heavens during the ceremony, holding a Fleur de Lis shaped ampulla. But there is more. Fleur de Lis means flower of the lily. The baptismal font used in this occasion was shaped like a lily, similar to the baptismal font used by the British royal family named the lily font. Also, there is a story of the Battle of Bouillet. Apparently, before this battle, Clovis decorated his helmet with an iris flower. Yes, I know it's not a lily, but I will explain that, just wait a minute. This is similar to some stories around the Roman Emperor Constantine I, who put a Cairo in his shield before going into combat. For those who don't know, the Cairo is a Christian diagram representing Jesus Christ and the crucifixion, all at once. This symbol actually inspired Team Plasma's logo. 
Clovis is known as the first king of what will become France, as he was the first king of the Franks to unite all of the Frankish tribes under one ruler. Similar to what the documents in Lysander's lab say about AC, who was the first to unite the Kalos region thanks to the use of advanced technology. Now you might want to know about Clovis and the iris flower. Well, interestingly, the lily and iris flowers seem to get confused in the Flor de Lis, as said by 18th century French lexicographer Pierre Augustin Bossois de Soubiche. The old Flor de Lis, especially the ones found in our first king's scepters, have a lot less in common with ordinary lilies than the flowers called flambas or irises, from which the name of our own Flor de Lis may derive. The French or Franks, before entering Gaul itself, lived for a long time around the river named Lee in the Flanders. Nowadays the river is still bordered with an exceptional number of irises. These irises have yellow flowers, which is not a typical feature of lilies, but fleur de lis. It was thus understandable that our kings, having to choose a symbolic image for what later became a coat of arms, set their minds on the iris, a flower that was common around their homes. They called it, in short, the Fleur de Lis, instead of the flower of the river of Lee. The flower of the lily is actually an iris, specifically the Iris Pseudacorus, or yellow flag flower, and there is something in the games named after this fact. Back in Gen 5, the gym leaders from Opelucid City were Draven and Iris. Iris is named after this family of flowers in every language but German. Her German name is Lydia, taken from the lily flower. What about Drayden? Well, English is the only language where his name isn't a reference to flowers. In Japan, his name is Shaga, common name of the Iris Japonica. His Spanish name is Lirio, literally Lily, and in German, it's Lysander. Yeah, he has the same name as the leader of the evil organization from Kalos. So the gym leaders from Opelucid City are named after the Flor de Lis, and they are the lord keepers of this region, passing down the legend of Regiram and Sekram, the two dragons that appear in the gardens of Parfum Palace. And those who watched my first video will know of my theory about the Kalos War involving the Unova region. Let's pretend I mentioned this info in that theory. Meanwhile, in the case of Aces Floet, its flower might be based on the Trillium Erectum, a particular kind of lily, but this assumption is only based on their similarities. Ok, going back to the French kings, the stories around the Flor de Lis and Clovis were taken by later kings as a symbol of their God-chosen quality. They even were recognized by the Catholic Church as successors of the old rulers of the Western Roman Empire, as happened with Charles the Great, of whom I'll talk later. The Catholic Church actually adopted the symbol. One of the first times they used it was in St. Jerome's Vulgate, but it seems to gain significance from different biblical scriptures, where the lily appears as a symbol of purity and chastity, same meaning it has in the language of flowers. It was understood as a reference to the Virgin Mary, leading to many artistic depictions of the Virgin or Christ holding the flower. It was also used to represent the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This might be why we see it in the tales of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Aesulf. Three Pokémon which I explained in a different theory seem to be connected to the Trinity. The three petals are the Trinity, 
and the band in the center is the Virgin Mary, connecting these three aspects in one entity, as she is the mother of Jesus, and here is where it gets interesting. I already mentioned how the fleur de lis was used by ancient European cultures, but these groups weren't the first ones to use it, no, this goes way back. Those ancient Europeans who used the symbol are of Indo-European origin. The Indo-European migrations were the migratory process of pastoral peoples from the Pontic Caspian steppe that took place during the years 4000 to 1000 BC. These people lived around Europe, the Middle East and the Indian subcontinent, where they developed different cultures and languages. Probably this is how these symbols are so widespread, and here is where we find some archaeological evidence speculated to be the first depictions of the fleur de lis. The oldest of these depictions indicating this possibility is of Mesopotamian origin. Assyrian, Sumerian and Babylonian iconography were the first ones to show the fleur de lis on its earliest of forms. The flower was linked to the concept of the tree of life, other important motive that well influenced cultures all over the world. Interestingly, in Babylonian mythology, the heavenly origin of kingship was represented by a tree planted on the earth by the mother goddess Inanna or Ishtar. The eighth gate of the inner city of Babylon was dedicated to this goddess, and guess what? The fleur de lis appears in this place. What is even more interesting is that Inanna plays a major role in the Epic of Gilgamesh, a mythical Mesopotamian king, the oldest piece of literature known to date. Gilgamesh actually shares some characteristics with AC, being a severe king who after the death of a friend tried to gain immortality. And this takes us back to the ultimate weapon. You'll see, in Horas, we got the explanation behind the ultimate weapon's power. It is no other thing than infinity energy, the life force of Pokémon. The same energy that allows the Weather Trio to reach their mega and primal forms. This is explained in the Azot Files, named after the principle of nature in alchemy the light of God's mind, the intrinsic connection between all things. This concept comes into play in the Tree of Life, which some alchemists represented with a fleur de lis, as both are structures with three pillars. The Tree of Life also represents the light of God's mind. Meanwhile, the fleur de lis was seen as a representation of light by the alchemist. The flower was referred to as flower of light, from the archaic English spelling Flor de Luz. Now, and to end this video, France used during a period of almost 100 years a coat of arms showing three fleur de lis. This version in particular is a reference to the triskelion, an ancient symbol from those old cultures of Indo-European origin, in particular the ones that would become the Celts, who famously populated the British Islands. The triskelion has been linked to the triketra, a Celtic Germanic symbol that was adopted by Christians to represent, you guessed it, the Holy Trinity. And here we go back to Charles the Great, who was the first to be recognized by the Catholic Church as Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Charles was associated with the Carolingian Cross, or Cross of Triketras, and the Triketra appears in the Kalos games. We see it in both sides of the ultimate weapon and also in Eilash, where the Triskelion is also visible. So the Sword and Shield Pokémon contains symbols that could potentially link the Kalos region to the Gen 8 games. Does this mean that the Kalos region has connections to Kalos? 
Well, I would like to hold off judgment on that until the facts are in. So, we reached the end of the first episode of Mining for Meaning. There will be more videos like this exploring the hidden symbolism of the Pokemon universe. The next episode will be about... well, you have to wait and see. Thanks everyone for watching, good luck and see you soon.